getting real googly up in here. It's getting real googly. Hey, Smarty Pants. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more home automation love from Smart Home Tech. We got some pretty big news out of the Google camp today. Now, we just found out that Google Home is now allowing for integration with Wink, TP-Link, LifeX, and Best Buy Insignia brands to provide you voice control over your devices through Google Home. We also found out that brands such as August, Rachio, and Vivid will be releasing voice control for their smart devices through Google Home in the near future. So here's a quick breakdown of what some of these brands will let you do. August will allow you to lock it smart lock and you can check whether it is locked or not, but you can't unlock it with voice control. So that's a good little security feature right there. Wink will let you control lights and thermostats connected to a Wink hub. LifeX will let you turn on or off and control the color and brightness of the bulbs. TP-Link will let you control its smart lights, switches, and outlets. Rachia will let you control the sprinkler system. And Vivint will let you control any products connected to its system. So if you include Philips Hue, SmartThings, Wemo, Honeywell, and Nest, that brings the manufacturer account for Google Home up to 12. So there are 12 manufacturers now who will soon have voice control built in to the Google Home um, ecosystem. Now, that's nowhere near as large as the uh, manufacturers available for Amazon Echo, but you can see Google's trying to step their game up, and I like what they're doing. All right, Smarty Pants, that's it for the Google Home announcement. Now, let us know in the comment section below. Are you excited about the new voice control integration that's being built into Google Home? Do you have any products that you've been waiting for this uh, voice control automation to kick in and now it's there? If so, tell us how you're going to use it. And last but not least, let us know, do you think that Google Home will ever catch up with Amazon Echo as far as devices that you can go ahead and use voice control with? Leave all that information in the comment section below. If you like the content in this video, make sure that you click on the thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction lets people know that the content in these videos es muy bueno and that they should watch it too. And last but not least, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and then click on that bell. When you click on that bell, that means that you're going to get notifications every time we upload content to YouTube and that way you won't miss out on any of the learning, all of the reviews, and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.